Hello, my name is Rita Ajua Mirekua Kisi. I'm the head of Chantry at Ghana Embassy. Welcome to our embassy. Please, let's follow me. Welcome again to the Embassy of Ghana, and by extension, welcome to Ghana, the island of peace. Ghana attained independence on 6th March 1957, and as you can see, this flag of Ghana represents our independence. The red, which stands for the blood of our forefathers, the forefathers who struggled to attain independence, and the yellow represents our mineral resources. I'm sure you've all heard that Ghana has gold, bauxite, diamond, manganese. So anytime you look at our flag, of, our, our flag, the yellow depicts our mineral resources as well as the green. We have green vegetation. We have rich, rich um, forestry. And so when you look at the green, it depicts our forestry in Ghana. And the black, the black is the hope of Ghana. It is, it, it, it is the, it signifies the pan-Africanism of Ghana. Ghana places so much importance in its culture, which can be displayed in the things we wear. If you wouldn't mind, I'll take the pleasure to introduce you to our clothes. Kente, which is popularly known as our traditional cloth, was came into being when two Ghanaians monitored the way a spider wove its web. Kente is being worn by two types of people in our country, people from the southern part and those from the northern part. If you look at this kente, which is worn by the northern part and this by the southern part, this rich display of colors shows royalty to the Ghanaians. Can we now show you our food, which also displays our rich culture? Although Ghana is far from Korea geographically, we have so many things in common. Ghanaians are known for their hospitalities, for their food, which is just like the Koreans. As you can see here, this is called Ghanaian jollof rice, which is the same as Korean pakumpa. Also, if you look at this, we call it light soup. It's a chicken light soup, which is the same as Korean taktorita. And I know Koreans know so much about Ghanaian chocolate, but today I'm going to introduce you to the Ghanaian chocolate, which is made up of orange flavored milk chocolate, as well as lemon flavored chocolate. We also have the traditional chocolate, and this is our Ghanaian chocolate made up of original cocoa bean. Let me introduce you to our whiskey. This whiskey is called the Black Rock because it is made up of a mixture of honey and the whiskey that you know. This is one of my favorite because I call it the Ghanaian soju because it's made up of gin with a touch of strawberry. And let me tell you something. This is called Takai. It's a Ghanaian rum that is made up of coffee and cocoa. You wouldn't believe it, during the recently held Soul Friendship Festival, as well as the Soul African Festival, Koreans love this taste. If you come here, we have here Alomo bitters. This is made up of our traditional herbs, trees that heal and trees that bring so much benefit to the soul. Welcome to Ghana. Welcome to the Embassy of the Republic of Ghana here in the Republic of Korea, Seoul. My, uh, my name is uh, Ambassador Karis Obechibilamte Zwenis. I say welcome again because I know you have already met our Head of Chancery downstairs and she has introduced you to the front of the Chancery. She has taken you through the meaning of our flag and the coat of arms and she's introduced you to some of the cultural artifacts that we have in our display cabinet. The name Ghana comes from the Empire of Ghana and was adopted by us as our name when we gained independence on the 6th of March in 1957. We used to be called the Gold Coast. We have a population of about 32 million in Ghana. Uh, a third of them, which is about 29%, 30%, are under the age of 15 years old. And our average age is 30 years old. So we have a very young population. We're young, we're vibrant, we're a dynamic country. We are a country rich in natural resources. Our main natural resources are bauxite, manganese, gold, 
Coco, of course, because who hasn't heard of the name Ghana, uh, referring to chocolate here in Korea. Timber and diamonds. In addition to the natural resources that I mentioned, we also have share nuts, from which comes share butter, cashew nuts, pineapples, textiles, and many other things. Of course, for a country that is rich in natural resources, we are also rich in things to see and do in Ghana. Some of the best things that we are well known for are our historical forts and castles. You'll see an example here in this book. These castles and forts played a significant role in the transatlantic slave trade. The three most famous are Elmina Castle, Cape Coast Castle, and Fort San Jago, and all these three are now UNESCO World Heritage Sites. We have lots of sites. We have waterfalls galore. Uh, two of the most famous are the Boti and the Willy Falls. We have the Kakum National Park, where you can see forest elephants and you can do a canopy walk. We have the Mole Game Park. We also have a rich tradition and heritage of cultural festivals. Uh, of which Homowo is one of the most famous and it is celebrated in the Greater Accra region by the Ga tribe, Ga Dangbe tribe, uh, to which I belong. <laughs> you will see later on in this program examples of some of the fabric that we have in our country, some of the foods that we have in our country and some of the symbols that we have which are now world famous. I hope that this has given you a small glimpse of what Ghana has to offer, and I hope that it will encourage you all to come and visit Ghana. Come, we have wonderful things to see. Thank you for your attention. Hi, my name is Sam Ochre, proud son of the motherland and a cultural ambassador. And it is my privilege today to tell you guys about the vibrant and amazing art scene that we have in Ghana. Now, we have to take it back to when it all started, back in the day, our forefathers were artists themselves. And right behind me is what we know as the beautiful Edinkra, which are symbols or aphorisms that represent everyday life, traditional wise sayings, and everything about your environment. And Edinkra symbols can be woven into clothing, into bags, into any fashion item of your choice. For example, I'm wearing a beautiful outfit today that was made with the Edinkra symbols. Ghana is a bustling art scene right now. I think we're taking over Africa and we're emerging as giants on the world scene. We have Amwakobafu, we have Solomon de Dufa, we have Ishak Ismail, we have Serge Atuklote, and a wide range of artists who blow your mind. So if you love art, if you are a passion, if you're passionate about art, Ghana is the right place for you to be. When? I recommend December 25th. That's right, Christmas is the best time to be in Ghana and enjoy everything Ghana has to offer in terms of art. See you in December. This is the end of our embassy tour. And we cannot express our appreciation to you, our cherished viewers. Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you very much. Medasi. Kamsa Mida. Sorry.